members of staff, academic staff, lecturers, uh, students, uh, visitors, welcome. Uh, this public lecture is part of our bi-weekly academic paper presentations um, and uh, this particular public lecture is of uh, great interest uh, to all of us. Um, the title of this paper is uh, Disappearing Suspects and Terrorism. He has investigated human rights abuses around the world, focusing on justice and accountability, uh, military conduct in war, uh, the human rights policies of the United States and the United Nations. Now take this opportunity uh, to invite him to the podium here so that uh, he can uh, share with you. Let us uh, give him a round of applause. Thank you very much, Dean. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. we've had the benefit of having lived through oh, that horrible experiment. And we have seen not only does it lead to terrible, needless suffering, um, terrible violations of human rights, but it also made the terrorist threat much worse. It was a wholly ineffective way to fight terrorism. So let me run through a few of the examples that we learned from that experience and then bring, bring it back to Kenya. Um, you know, first of all, torture. You know, George Bush is probably most notorious for his inviting the CIA to torture suspects. Um, the paradigmatic example of that was waterboarding. And the claim was, you know, this was necessary to get to the bottom of Al-Qaeda and these terrorist plots. Um, you know, you have to start thinking, when, when um, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the, the orchestrator of the September 11th attack, was waterboarded 183 times. You know, imagine yourself the CIA interrogator after the 182nd waterboard. Thinking, if we just waterboard this guy one more time, maybe he'll really reveal what happened. You know, at some point you would think that the CIA interrogators would realize that this is getting them nowhere other than violating the crime against torture. But they kept going. After the fact, they, um, they went out of their way to say, well, torture at least made us safe. But you may have read that the US Senate issued a, a detailed report on the Bush CIA torture. And they found, he used the, the quote here, no actionable intelligence that emerged from this entire torture experiment. So it, it, it put the United States on the dark side of the fight against terrorism, and it got nothing worthwhile in return. Or take the, the military commissions in Guantanamo. I actually went to Guantanamo to observe the arraignment of the September 11th suspects, the, the time when they formally plead guilty or not guilty to the charges against them. This must have been four years ago. Nothing has happened on that case since. 